Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Nautil Engineering. Today we are going to learn something new. How to do fully coupled thermal electrical analysis in Abacus CAE. This type of analysis is needed when electric current is causing the heat generation and in many application it happens and it's a great way to get some insight about what's happening using these finite element simulations. In this both thermal and electrical equations are solved simultaneously for temperature and electrical potential and the coupling between two arises from two things first is temperature dependent electrical conductivity that means if temperature of part is increasing its electric conductivity will change and depending on that the electrical current will change so you can see how the temperature is affecting electrical current and another is the internal heat generation is function of electrical current density therefore if electrical current density changing the heat generation will change and of course if heat generation changes the temperature of part will change therefore temperature can cause change in electrical current and electrical current can cause change in temperature hence it is fully coupled this is the equation which abacus will solve for electrical analysis it is also known as maxwell's equation and for thermal analysis abacus will solve this heat equation which is given on this right hand side when electrical current is flowing from any part it generates electric energy which is given by joule's law and some part of that energy gets converted into thermal energy and that fraction is given by this nv and this nv we can define so we can define how much fraction of electric energy generated should get converted into thermal energy this is the example which we are going to solve today this is a very interesting problem and not just abstract problem it is actually used in real world in many electronic devices we will have a microprocessor which generates heat depending on the current going through it and that heat has to be dissipated quickly for which we use some heat sinks in this example this blue part over here is microprocessor and there is a heat sink attached on top of it current will flow through microprocessor it will generate thermal energy that's why this microprocessor will get heated and then that heat will get dissipated to this heat sink and from this heat sink to the atmosphere and as you can see we will need coupled thermal electrical analysis to solve this now the material for heat sink is assumed as aluminum and these are the three properties of aluminum we will need density specific heat and thermal conductivity we will not need any electrical related properties for aluminum because there is no electric current in aluminum and the processor material is copper again for copper we will need density specific heat and thermal conductivity but on top of that we will also need electrical conductivity and joules energy conversion factor here i am assuming that as 0.8 that means 80% of electric energy will get converted to thermal energy apart from these properties we will also need initial temperature which we will assume as 293 and also ambient temperature which is again we will assume 293 kelvin we also have to define a film coefficient that is the value of h for heat transfer by convection between this heat sink and ambient temperature and we will solve this problem in two step first we will use coupled thermal electrical step that will be for 100 seconds and in that first step we will define a current of 0.5 ampere per meter square through this microprocessor hence in first 100 seconds the microprocessor will get heated and then second step will be only heat transfer it is like a cooling down we will just cut off the current and we will let the heat dissipate in first step also heat is dissipating of course it's not like in first step heat is not dissipating at all but in second step we are just cutting off the heat generation now one most important thing over here which i cannot stress enough always double check your units all of these properties are given in si units we will stick with si units that's why i converted this current value also to ampere per meter square we will use this value not 0.5 and these dimensions for the geometry everything is in millimeters so remember to convert that to meters now this 2d figure doesn't give the accurate representation of geometry so i will just show you 3d geometry as well this top green part is a heat sink and this bottom part is microprocessor instead of having just rectangular microprocessor i modeled one hole over here with radius 5 mm just to introduce some non uniformity and in a way to make our problem more interesting anyway let's start with abacus ci first set your working directory and now let's create a part first i will create heat sink it should be 3d deformable and solid with extrusion we will create 
now as i said we will convert millimeters to meters therefore change it to 0.2 say continue and here we have to draw this geometry the orange one so i will draw using this line and remember we will draw this geometry over here in the first quadrant and when we model the microprocessor we will model it over here in fourth quadrant so it will be easier in assembly you don't have to do anything in assembly let's start with point 00 next point would be 0.028 comma 0 then the vertical height of heat sink is 35 mm so 0.028 comma 0.035 then this thickness should be 4 mm 0.024 comma 0.035 coming straight down up to 5 mm so 0.024 comma 0.005 again 4 mm horizontally 0.02 comma 0.005 go up you can just choose this point like this then again horizontally 0.016 comma 0.035 come down and you got the idea right so let's just complete this finally 0 comma 0.035 and last 0 comma 0 and the thickness should be 0.028 and heat sink is ready next we will model microprocessor again 3d deformable solid continue and as i said in this we will define first corner 0 0 and the second corner somewhere over here so 0.028 comma minus 0.005 done again thickness 0.028 now in this we want to make a hole at the center for that first let's partition this top face zero comma zero and the radius should be 5 mm so 0.005 comma zero done now we have to partition this entire volume using this sketch for that go into this partition cell using extrude or sweep edges first select this sketch then say extrude along direction and select this direction this is the opposite direction so we will flip it going downwards say okay and create partition now if you check the bottom there should be a partition all the way through the thickness and finally we have to remove this inside part right for that select this remove faces and click on this for top face it will remove all the cells also from inside so say yes but it will keep one face at the bottom so again choose this and remove this face as well say done and now microprocessor is also ready next go to property first let's make material for heat sink which is aluminium in this we have to define density aluminium it is 2700 then go to thermal and define conductivity this one is 200 and then again thermal specific heat this one is 890 say okay one more material copper again let's start with density 8960 thermal conductivity 394 then specific heat 385 and now we have to define electrical conductivity over here for copper this is 58 and lastly again go to thermal and select joule heat fraction in this by default it will be 1 i will change it to 0.8 say okay next create sections first i will create aluminum section solid homogeneous continue select material aluminum okay one more section copper solid homogeneous select material copper okay and assign the section so this part is copper here i will select copper and then change this to heat sink and assign over here aluminum done next go to assembly create instances so choose both parts say okay now we model them in first and fourth quadrant that's why you don't have to do anything over here you can see they are perfectly aligned in all directions hence next go to step now we have to create two steps so first step should be go up 
coupled thermal electric say continue time period change it to 100 keep this one as transient then go to incrementation and here just increase this number change this initial to 0 0.1 minimum maybe 1 e minus 12 and maximum can be 100 also we have to define maximum allowable temperature change per increment which we can define as 200 no need to change anything else say okay and after this we have to create one more step which would be heat transfer say continue again change time period to 100 keep this transient go to increment do the same things this initial maybe i will keep it as one but minimum again let's reduce it to 1 e minus 12 and define this thing again as 200 say okay next go to load let's create a load in this we will put load to step one and it will be electric slash magnetic and in this select surface current say continue and i am choosing this back surface of microprocessor with value 50,000 and for this current to flow in positive z direction we have to define a boundary condition on this phase for that go to boundary condition again make sure it is step one electrical and electric potential say continue select this surface and choose magnitude as zero say okay hence current will flow in positive z direction now let's define initial temperature for whole system for that go down here a little bit in predefined fields double click on this go to step initial then temperature continue and then just select this entire thing and temperature would be 293 kelvin say okay then we have to define the convection on this heat sink for that we will go to interaction convection will not happen on microprocessor so i will just hide this microprocessor as of now i am just hiding it so we can choose all the surfaces very easily then create an interaction i will name it as convection you have to change this step to step one because convection will start in our step one then choose surface film condition say continue now we have to select all the surfaces except the bottom surface therefore first you can select all of them rotate and press control button and select the bottom one now you can see all the surfaces are selected except the bottom one say done define the film coefficient as 500 and ambient temperature again 293 say okay and now i will again unhide this microprocessor now before meshing still one more thing is remaining which is we have to tie this microprocessor's top surface to bottom surface of this heat sink that means whatever temperature is achieved on the top surface of this microprocessor that same temperature will be achieved by bottom surface of this heat sink to do that create a constraint a tie constraint say continue and in this we have to choose these two surfaces to do that first i will hide heat sink then choose the master surface which is this one then before choosing the slave surface i will unhide this and now hide this one rotate and then choose the slave surface we don't need these two just untick these two and say okay again i will show this i think we are ready to mesh one last thing before we mesh go to this field output request double click on this and make sure it includes ecd electric current per unit area and you can turn on any other things as well if you want right now we have current per area also we have electric potential then electric potential gradient and in thermal we have temperature and heat flux say okay go to mesh go to part you can see it is in yellow that means it can't be structured mesh go to mesh controls and change this to tet elements say okay then again mesh element type this region for this heat sink we can have heat transfer elements so choose heat transfer standard quadratic say okay then let's seed the part let's see how many elements it creates say okay and mesh 
looks very coarse so i am going to refine it maybe one four say apply and again mesh it this looks much better then go to microprocessor here again mesh controls go to tet say ok and in this you have to choose element type as thermal electric say ok seed the part again i will make it one four apply ok and mesh it and that's it i think we are all set to go so create a job continue okay and submit it it's done let's see the results let me make it little bit bigger okay and this is heat flux so here you can change heat flux temperature here you are not seeing any electrical parameters because it is in step 2 but if you change this and if you go to step 1 and now if you scroll down this you will see electric current electric potential etc let me choose electric current density our heat sink does not have any electrical properties that's why it is in this white color but if you rotate this you can see how electric current is flowing through the microprocessor this is frame 4 you can see how it is changing electric current it's almost same because we did not vary it but if you go to temperature then you can see from beginning initially the temperature is 293 and as you go forward the processor is heating up up to time step equal to 100 seconds over here it will heat up so this is the maximum temperature 350 and then after this a cooling step will start so electric current is cut off so then the temperature is decreasing again as you can see over here and finally it comes back to 293 you can see the animation as well it is very fast let me reduce the speed a little bit processor is heating up and again heat is dissipated as you can imagine the number of applications are endless for this coupled thermal electrical analysis this is the very basic example what we saw and i hope it will give you a good idea or serve as a starting point so you can build even more complex examples for your work that's it for this video if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions Please let me know in the comment section below and as always, thank you for watching.